Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode. Needless to say, I'm super tired after work, but I should probably not play chess at the moment, but I'm gonna try anyway. I'm okay with dropping below 1500, even though I don't want to. So let's search for an opponent and hope for the best. Let's see. Okay. Next time I'm going to play with the black pieces, I might try again the hippo defense. Um, for now, let's go with queen pawns. Um, queen pawn opening. Um, I don't know if I want a London queen's gambit or... Okay, he goes there. Let's go with the bishop out straight up. Straight away. Okay, the um, light square diagonal is a bit weak, um, so we could take advantage of that, but let's bring out the knight first. Okay, that's a good move, I think, but I'm going to counterattack heavily. So let's see. He can take either one of the pawns. If takes, 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 that's probably okay. Mm, not sure. Does he have checks? Yes, he does. So that's pretty annoying. I think I will just uh, block while developing another piece. And okay, he doesn't go for that. Mm. Okay. Could play e3, which is a normal move. Checking with the queen doesn't do anything because he just tempos me. Okay, and if takes, sorry, if takes. I can still capture with two of the pieces, so that's not a problem. And if he takes here, could be a bit of reason. Let's um, open the light squared bishop. He could jump with his knight, no doubt. But since he didn't develop his light squared bishop, okay, one, two attackers, one, two, three defenders. That's all right. He can he can come here. He can check me and then jump in. But yeah, if I go here, he could jump there. In which case, I'm probably going to check him. Which forces the knight back. Here should be good. Probably a smart move is to take. And I lose a tempo. Takes, captures, and basically I'm down a tempo because I will move my bishop twice. But okay, he blocks any future. Um, Checks with my queen. I could jump with my knight like this, but let's first castle. Mm. And I feel strongly about knight c3. Okay, I could also um, play maybe queen to d2, but then he has takes. Takes, takes, takes. And he can take with the queen. So for that reason, I could consider takes. But then he takes. So that's not that's not good either. So basically, no matter what I do, I'm probably gonna lose a pawn, which is not fun. It's not nice. Taking doesn't do anything. Okay. So, yeah, what to do, what to do. I'm probably 
just gonna lose a pawn. Because if I go here and here, okay, maybe I can take, take, and then take, take, take. So probably queen to b3 is the best move. He cannot fork me here because I have two attackers. And if I just develop my, my knight, he can either take the pawn, threatening my knight, or take, takes, 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 takes. And it is just not good. So I have no choice but to take. Sorry, not to take, but to offer a trade. You could go here, I guess, but I'm just going to take the queen. If if he takes here, I could consider taking the queen as well. Takes, takes, here, here, here. If takes, takes, we should be all right. We should be all right. But he does have uh, this juicy e4. Um, however, he's not castled. If he castles short, he's two moves away. So, probably he's going to take the queen, but anyways, cheers. I'm explaining a lot of nothing, so maybe I should uh, just play quicker. <clears throat> He's having a bit of a think now. He's up a minute on the clock though, which is quite something. Okay, that was the last move that I was even remotely considering. Idea is that if I take, if he takes and I recapture, he wins this pawn. <clears throat> also, oh, okay, he doesn't have this move then, but I could maybe take here first. first the bishop takes, takes here, doesn't do anything. Takes here, takes back. So, here, here. Maybe bishop e2 will solve all my problems, basically. I don't see anything wrong with this move. So let's do it. Is there a better move? Like, don't really see it. Knight here could be annoying, no doubt. For now, my knight is controlling those squares, but I do want to move my knight. I don't want my knight to remain on uh, b1, just guarding these squares. Take stakes should be okay, ready to bring up my knight. So, yeah, probably if knight here, I could simply divide. And whatever, if takes, I can even take with the pawn, it's not the end of the Okay, let's not dwell too much on that. He does have this fork, for now it's protected by my knight. So, let's go here. Um, he doesn't have this move. Doesn't have this move. He could capture one of the pawns. I don't think it does much. Uh, probably here, he will win a pawn. However, he's losing one defender of the knight. However, the bishop is still protecting, so... Taking. But now, because I take with the knight. So, yeah, it's all good. Okay, one minute advantage on the clock for my opponent, and 
is getting uh, closer and closer. If we blitz out a few more moves, we could have the lead on the clock. Okay, but this is definitely one annoying move. And I'll probably gonna go here because he can't take because I take the queen. So yeah, in this case, I'll just take. However, he can take with the knight, tempoing my queen. And that's no fun either. So what to do? If here, maybe I'll just take. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But mm, if bishop here, can I just take? And whatever he takes, takes, that's not a problem. So, but here, right, bishop, and then here, if he takes, mm, I could trade queens, mm, maybe, but takes back, I take here. Mm, he's just so and so, not great. Right, it's a tough position to be honest, and we are up on time for <laughs> the first time. Probably in a long time. Okay, he goes there. Let's think very, very quickly. Could go here, but it doesn't have the same effect now. He's not threatening this fork anymore. Therefore, mm, we jump in here. That would potentially be annoying. I can capture here anything. And if I capture here, he has a, a lot of defenders. Too many defenders. So what do I want to do? Because if I go here, he could go back and threaten this fork. However, I just take him, so... Mm, would have liked to play this move, but... Uh, now it is what it is. This is not a good move because of this, actually. However, let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. I need to move a lot quicker. If this, I'm just going to take the bishop. <clears throat> All right, he takes one pawn. He's threatening my knight. I can simply recapture. Can I threaten the queen? Not really. Can I take here? Doesn't make any sense. Can I go here? Um, I can just take and I take with check, but then... Okay, this is a nice move. But if I take here, he has to react. That's the thing. Now, if I take here, he has to react because I'm hitting his queen. And, yeah, where's the queen going? Nowhere. He's gonna recapture with the knight. And then I can take the pawn. And if he takes... I've got options, but I don't know. Well, here, takes. If takes, I'm probably going to take, take, take. And if takes, takes, that's probably. Okay, so this is a move, right? I feel like this is a move, right? This is definitely a move. Knight here. He can take my bishop in the... Oh god, that was such a bad move. Um, What was I thinking? Like... Whoop! 
that's no bueno. So the only option is to go all in. This point, I don't see any any other option. However, he can just put here, and it's quite annoying. So I made a massive blunder here, and I don't think I can get back in the game after this massive blunder. To be honest, this knight is very very well protected. But since he's not castled, I do have the bishop pair, so I've, it's only it's only normal to he could push here. Mm, that's gonna be really annoying. And okay, I cannot. Take the knight. I can simply capture back the pawn. If I capture back the pawn, he can tamper my queen. Mm. Okay. What about this move? This move should be all right. Hmm. Okay, if we kick the knight, we might win the B pawn, but it doesn't matter too much. B pawn, it's not worth much. Will be most likely a loss. Because of one blunder, I don't think I can. I can get back from such a massive blunder. To be honest with you, but at least he's not castled, <clears throat> so I do have that going on for me. Okay, and in the future, idea of. Okay, he goes there instead some point I could take this pawn however now he's threatening to go here but um, I feel like this is only normal um, yeah it's I don't see an alternative um, it's an ugly move but don't see any other way However, if I go here, let's say, takes, check, here. Mm, we can set up something. We can certainly set up something. Here, check. Check again. Okay, let's see. Um, He goes there. What's the idea? I don't really know what's the idea. He could go there. Whatever. Um, I really feel strongly about this move. <clears throat> Gambiting a bishop. After takes, check. He could go either here or there, but um, he can't go there because I check. First. All right, so here, take, check, here. Um, maybe we set up something first. However, this move is coming, but uh, it's really not nice. Probably I can just go here. Oh, but see, it's kind of like working both my pieces. So I have to try it. Oh, I do have to try that. Mm. Oof, it's really nasty. I really want to play here, but he will dump on my queen. Oh wait, I can go here and if takes, that's checkmate. Good, good, good. Good. Let me go here. Cool. 
he has to play rook here or something. But then this is even more deadly. Yeah, if he plays rook here, I do have actually this tactic. He should castle. <clears throat> he could castle. But then check here, mate, actually. He could indeed castle long, which is not a bad idea. But I've taken here, here. Mm. Yeah, I'll still go here because you can't take because of checkmates. So, yeah. I'm down material. As long as he doesn't castle, I might be able to checkmate him real quick. If this goes into an end game, it's game over for me. To be honest, he doesn't have a lot of good moves. But I feel like castling, castle long is decent. Castle long should be decent. I'm gonna reply to rook to b1 with the idea of after fork, I'll go here and he can't do anything. Then I can attack again. Cool. Cool. If castles, rook to b1. If rook to d8, bishop to g5. However, he can just go here. But then... Wait. Here, here. Can I go here? That is just... That is just nasty. I can't really because he... Instead, okay, 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 okay. I see you. I see you. Mm, okay. Does this work now? Here? Takes. Check here. And here. I'm threatening this knight, this knight. Like so many threats. This has to be a good move. Just because he's not castled. However, I can just take here even. Um, okay, but I could go here as well. I can just straight up take, but uh, I feel like I want to go all in. So if I go here and he goes here, and I go here and he goes here, I could actually go here. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Because he takes the pawn with check and he forks my bishop. Okay. So what's the move then? Maybe a rook sacrifice. Because after takes here, check. He can only go here or here. But there we have this. Mm. I don't know. This is not such a good move. Just because he can go here. No. Then I can't even sack the rook. But I really want to go all in. Because this game is lost. So if I go here, it doesn't work. He could castle at any point. Maybe not really. This would be kind of a... Almost a checkmate. Maybe it is a checkmate. It is a checkmate, actually. So, what to do? I really don't know. Sack. Takes. Check. This is 
he's either gonna go here or there. He goes there, his check is nasty. If he goes here, what do I have? Um, I could have this move maybe. So check here, here. He goes here. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't actually know. Here, here, check, and here. Like, what's the continuation? Just here? Or even here? Let's do it. Let's do it all or nothing. Um, I do have background issues though. So and yeah, not taking the rook is just impossible. Okay. Um I could go here instantly. But I want to check him, and if he goes here, boy oh boy, it's gonna be probably checkmate. So he has to go here. I can even check here. And can't go there. Could go there. Okay, he goes there. Wow. Interesting. That is a bit interesting. So what to do? Pin into win first. But I think it's I think it's over. Yeah, I think it's over. I think it's over. I don't have enough time. And yeah, if I go here, I can't do that. Mm. Yeah, we are completely losing. So here, probably I'll have to go here. And here. Hmm. Probably I'll go here. No, 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 no. No, 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 here. Hmm. There's nothing I can do. At least we tried. Okay, but if I go here, I'm threatening checkmate, so he cannot take the bishop. If I go here, he can take the pawn, but he's not check. Yeah, I feel like this is a move. Threatening checkmate. Here doesn't work because I check him. Because I check him out. And he cannot castle. He could go here, but I just take and four. So yeah, he cannot go here because it's checkmate. Um, yeah, this is my last attempt of the attack. I'm down material, and if I lose this bishop as well, oof. Yeah, probably rook here. He's thinking is a good idea, but after takes. Takes, takes, it comes with check. So here, yeah, I just take with check. Yeah. Don't know. 
He could go here, and then I take a quick check. Yeah, I think I think I might get some material back. However, this pawn is weak. My rook could become weak, and my back rank is very weak. However, I do have the initiative and the tempo. Here, here doesn't work. But here, then I just take anyway. And he could run. Right. And that probably was probably. Mm, but then I take the rook. Yeah, I don't know what I would move if I would be in his uh, position. I think he's kind of stuck. He doesn't have any good moves, I think. Or it's very hard to find one. So I might get my material back, but it's still not easy to win. Because this pawn is weak and my back rank is weak. Could go here in the future, maybe, but it's just like, yeah, so it's, it's, it's not going to work. OK, king, king can, can move there, and this is still a checkmate. And the queen is protecting these squares. Yeah, king here, checkmate. So that's out of the question. He can't move the knight because it's pinned. He could probably go here. Mm, he cannot because it's my bishop. If he goes here again, he loses the knight and potentially a rook. Mm. Here, check. Let's say here, here, check, here. I can take with check still because I have the rook behind. <clears throat> oh God, he's lower than me on time. This would be one of my greatest wins ever if if I can get some crazy checkmate. We might even see a resignation by looking at his, at his time usage. So at least he's going to struggle uh, with time and to find good moves. So we can press him pretty hard on the clock, even though it's like 10 seconds increment. He's plus four advantage, but I have the initiative. And now, Okay, I was expecting that move, and if I check him, he can only move here, and then I have a skewer, right? Because here, he's not going to take, obviously, um, here, here is the only move. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Wow. My god. That cannot be real. We might actually see a resignation after this move. Um, do I have anything better? Wait, is this a checkmate? If I go here, he goes here. If I go here, he goes here. Let's play simple. This just wins material. And we might see a resignation. Because he can't move this bishop. Rook here doesn't do anything. Attacking me doesn't do anything. King cannot move. 
There you go. <laughs> this is one of my most iconic wins of all time. This is my old style of playing. It's actually made in one, by the way. Wow. Um, oh my god. This is how I used to play, but it's too risky. And since I blundered and I was down a piece and I had nothing to lose. So I, you know, my inner old Mikhail Tal was resurrected. So let's do a quick analysis. This game is monumental. And I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, we had one brilliant move. Three great moves. Only 72% accuracy, but my moves were so tricky that my opponent only had 52 because it's hard to find good moves when you're in a tricky position. He actually had two blunders. I only had one. Um, his middle game was a blunder. Uh, Moticon. A lot of misses, but he didn't quite find the... So anyways, this is all kind of generic, like, yeah, he could have taken the pawn here, whatever, he could have taken the pawn again, but I was thinking that after takes, 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 and takes, like, what's his move? Um, I don't know, it looks kind of equal to me, so, yeah, it's, this inaccuracy is, like, not such a big deal. And this is the best move. Wow. Apparently, this is a mistake because knight e5. Knight e5. Excuse me. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't really get it. Um, How is this winning for white? Probably with the same idea um, of having like a massive initiative. Anyways, this is way too complicated and not very human-like. So he plays one mistake, excellent, and second mistake. This is all right. He takes uh, c5 is best move. Yeah, I guess, but. I didn't I didn't want him to develop the bishop. So excellent. This is just good. Obviously, e takes d4 is best. And this is a massive blunder. Best move. And I did find the best move. It's only 1.2 advantage, but this is a mistake. And now it's almost equal. And after this great move. Is even more equal. So 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. <laughs> and this was a straight up blunder because of this best move. And queen takes b7. Queen takes b7 is like whatever. Um, yeah, it's like whatever. I just get my material back. But instead, I went for this crazy move, which is brilliant. I was, I was most certainly that this would be a blunder, obviously. But apparently, the following sequence is quite forcing, and for that reason, it's a brilliant move. Wow! Take a take a screenshot of that because it looks too good. So he plays the best move. Great move, and king to e7, king to e7, that's what I thought, it would have been a good move, but I was planning on going here and then here, but obviously he has this move with the queen, so for that reason, yeah, 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 probably this is even better, and, but yeah. I do have a slight advantage, but still it's not 
it's only because the king is exposed. So bishop g7. Wait. Oh my god, guys, have I have I suggested this move? Tell me in the comments, yes or no. Have I suggested to Gambit the bishop? Oh my god. Wowzers. Anyways, I go here instead. He blunders and I find another great move, which is already plus 5. And mistake, mate in 4. Best move, best move. Um, if he takes, it's probably... No, no, it's not this one. Where's the checkmate? Here? Yes. Yes, this is checkmate. And if he does anything else, and he doesn't capture my bishop... Sorry. Um, this. No, no, no. Wait, the rook is there. Okay. Um, it's mating one. I'm not looking at the annotations. So let's see. Where's the mating one? Takes is... Oh, I can go here. Because the queen is pinned. Oh my god. This would have been a brilliant uh, checkmate. So, anyways, he just resigns after this, and it is indeed mate in one. And after he would have played his move, probably I would have seen the mate in one. Um, if not, I would have captured the queen, anyways. And yeah, let's see. Okay. But then this is checkmate, so. So yeah, probably I would have found the checkmate. But even if I didn't, let's say I didn't, it's like, oh, it's checkmate anyway, so yeah, it's just, it was easy to spot checkmate after whatever move he would have made so that's just absolutely I, I wish I could replicate this type of play but obviously it's impossible and that's it after blundering straight up a piece I went berserk and he resigned he resigned to 23 moves how crazy is that Hopefully you learned something, probably not too much though, but I'm sure you were entertained in this video. So thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Cha-cha.